Hi folks, and welcome to Conan Exiles. It's Sunday, it's 8 o'clock, so it must be stream time. How is everybody? Good to see you all. And if, as as usual, chat is kicking off again already. Wow. Right, let me see who's all here today. Robert Mannix was first. Good evening, Robert. How are you? Bandy B, good evening. Kathy Ann. Oh, Kathy Ann's changed back to Kathy Ann Mannix again. Oh, interesting. Ray Fuller, good evening. Hey, who else do we have? Daniel Muffin Man Chancellor. Your first time, just subscribe. You're a noob in Coleman. Oh, welcome, Daniel. It's great to have you along. Nice to see you. Hopefully, we can teach you some things to do and maybe some things not to do. You never know. Hey, Game Labs, good evening. How are you, sir? Good to see you. Uh, Rex Havoc, hello. Kevin Myers, Go, uh, Groovy, it's the only word in my fuck up that describes your weekend. Uh, well, that's good. Having a groovy weekend has got to be a good thing. Grishnak, good evening. A week later and grey ones are still broken on Sipta. Oh, okay, that's interesting. At least to sort it out the stack splitting though. Yep, yep, we'll, we'll get round to discussing the this week's patch. And the good things and the bad things that came out of the patch. Uh, who else do we have? Um, how do you pronounce that? Zil Zilinev. Z Zilin four Zilinev. I'm I'm not sure, but but greetings and welcome to you anyway. Uh, Coco Bunny Taco Bunny. Good evening. Good to see you. Uh, let's see, Grishnak, by the way, have you had to climb high, watch out with the thralls? One of mine fell to his death for no reason. Yeah, I've, I've heard that thralls are taking, like, they seem to be, like, taking fall damage or something weird happening with them. Uh, has anyone had the following through the map bug? I haven't, but my horse did. I, I posted a photo on, or a screenshot on uh, Discord the other day that I I went to collect my horse who that was outside the event hub and if you show the followers on your map it showed that's where it was but when I get there it was nowhere to be seen it's like what what's going on and I, I I'd set it to guard there so I couldn't get it to, to return to uh, home because that was its home so I was very confused eventually I went into god mode and I went all the way up in the sky and found it wasn't there and went all the way down and it was practically at the very bottom of the world the, there was hardly anything above me but luckily I had access to god mode and I was able to tell it to follow me and then when you get back to the surface it appears back at the surface but yeah I personally haven't fallen through the, the map but my horse did um let me see, let me see. Oh, I'm clicking on things I'm not supposed to click on. Let me see, click off of that, yep. There we go. Uh, let's see. Kathy Ann keeps getting caught in the foundations. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Uh, not a monkey Orath, good evening to you. Good to see you. Shade, good day. And uh, do, 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 who else is here? So many people chatting away, which is fantastic to see. Uh, Grishna also had thralls fall through the floor, particularly when fighting the boss crocs. Yeah, so that, that happens quite a lot. Um, they, they, they kind of fall into the ground and now like half their body is just stuck above. But that's been going on for forever and ever. Docs at 88, good evening. Angelo Bambo, hello. You've made it this week. You sure have. Good to see you. Big Mick, hello. Uh, Tony Tipsword. <laughs> uh, hi, everyone. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Thorforge, good afternoon to you. Uh, who else is new? Lots of chat. And Wavy Navy, good evening to you. DC Weston, hello. XX Kurt 42 xx hello. So many comments, but not a lot of likes. Weird. Everyone like hit. So smash the like button. Gently. Uh, let's see who else. Tia Villa. Good evening. Good to see you. So many chatting. So much people. So much chat. How do gaming? How do, how do me duck? Good to see you. 
Uh, uh, Mark Conlon, good evening to you. Stewie, hello, first timer. Well, welcome along. Good to see you. Uh, Meg Collette, good evening to you. Major Dan, hello there. Uh, God, there's a lot. Hello all. My God, there is a lot of you. Prize to the one who catches where that comes from. Mm, no, I'm not actually sure. Six badges. Bonsoir from Bordeaux. Good to see you. L. Allen, good to see you. Oh, every Dutchy man. All, all coming in now. Oh, smacking my microphone. Wolf of Fenris. Hello, how are you? Uh, do, do, do. Crazy Wolf Blood. Oh, a little bit of a wolf theme going on at the moment. Scrolling down, scrolling down, so much stuff, so much stuff, so much people. P L P Y L Y P. Hello to you. Let's see. American America Inc. Music. Hello. And Carlos Romero. Hello. I think that's us at the bottom now. I'm at the bottom. Yes, I think we are. Okay, so here we are. We're back in Sipta. Um, let me get that sorted. Of course, this week we had the the first patch that was supposed to patch a whole bunch of stuff. And one thing it did patch is we can now shift, drag, and we get this box that allows us to split. Well, actually, let me do it to cancel that. They've actually changed, they still changed it slightly. So we'll go in here and drag it from there to there to there we get two options so we can split it we can we can type in numbers like like we could before we could move the slider like we could do before we can split it and it splits in the same inventory or we can take just what we want unfortunately they made enter to be split so if i hit enter it splits it in in the inventory here but um if I want to do that and go, let me take 45 and go take, I can precision do that. So, although it's not the default enter, I'm okay with it. It still, it still works. It still works. It's good. Um, the whole thing of quick splitting with a right click. Now, if you hold shift and right click, it quick splits. So you still can get the quick split, but you just hold shift to do it now. So that's cool. Um, the other advantage that gives me is I can... I take his gear across the right click now puts the gear on there you don't have to double click it to get it across so all all good that bits are okay some other things weren't quite so okay the I guess the biggest thing is that they said that the hotfix was going to fix bearers and put their bearers health back it said it was going to put it back temporarily until something else happens but it seems to have only put like one or two of them back. I, I think what it is, if you tame them as of now, they'll have the original HP, but all the ones that they actually nerfed at the chapter four, they haven't actually restored their health. It was only a little bit, um, little, a, a little number of the particular bearers that they put back. So that was, that was a, a real head in the hands moment when I saw that, it's like, You've promised to put that back and you failed. So that's not good. And then, of course, they introduced a whole bunch of new bugs. Um, in particular, were controllers. And I believe the toggle to sprint doesn't work anymore. Um, so they have to you have to hold down the stick, which is not great for people's fingers to have to hold that down whilst to make you run. So that's poor. And what I don't understand is I don't believe any of the fixes they were fixing were to do with controllers. So why they would have been tweaking that code, I don't understand. So I don't understand how that got broken if they weren't really trying to fix anything in, in that part of the code. Like there was lots of other things that they were trying to fix, but that should have had nothing to do with the code to do with controllers. So I don't get it. Reno Dietrichs, good evening. Good to see you. Uh, what what else is broken? It hurts your thumbs after a while. Yes, I can imagine. Hey, keyboard and mouse, that's, that's the way forward. Um, so the, the people falling through. Oh, oh, um, 
So one of the issues I'm having, and that's actually affecting what we're going to do today. Uh, Jivan Shiva Ad Aditya. Hello there. Hello there. I hope I didn't pronounce that too badly, but uh, greetings from India. Oh, nice one. Greetings from Scotland. Sabbatical. Good one. Um, oh, of course, that was the other big thing. They announced at the beginning of the week that the, the hunt that we assumed was going to be here for the full three months of the whole um, Chapter 4 event, it's finishing on the 15th, which is tomorrow. Um, they've since come out and said, I think, was it last night or this morning, Andy B has come out and said it'll come back on the 1st of May. So it sounds like it's got to come back at the first of the beginning of the month for a week or two. But it's it's the headline feature of the whole chapter. And you're only going to put it in the game for a fraction of the chapter. Uh, I've already been complaining to them, uh, even when we had the beta before it was even live, that the prices were too expensive. It was far too much grind to get the fangs to buy the stuff you want to buy. Um, and we've done a little bit of calculation that if you kill the first three champions and the grand champion, you're going to get approximately 60 uh, fangs for that once you've paid for your lures and stuff like that. Uh, Grey Fox, six. Good evening. Good to see you. Um, so yeah, approximately 60. People have come back and went, oh, I got 80. And it's like, well, it, it's RNG. So yes, I, I did it. I got 60. So yeah, you might get a little bit more. You might get a little bit less. But um, a rough calculation, you've got to have to do that 60 times or around 60 times, depending on how lucky or unlucky you get uh, to get all the fangs you'll need to buy all the items. That was bad. Then we find out it's a limited time, so you've got even less time to do that. And also we found out that it's normal knowledge, not ancestral knowledge. So if you restart your character, you've lost them. All the work you've done. All the time you've spent, gone. Start a new, on a new server, gone. And and I understand that there are people who play on an official server and will play the same character for many, many, many years and you'll keep your stuff all the time. But there is an awful lot of us play single player, we play on different public servers, private servers, and every time you create a new character, you've lost anything that's normal. Which is fine with your normal stuff, because you can go and learn it again, but you don't have the chance to learn that that again, because it's only based on the event. So, yeah, not happy, not happy with that at all. Um, what else have they done? Oh, there's probably lots more. Oh, uh, they said they were going to be, because the redeemed Silent Legion armor can't be repaired at the moment. That they said that would be fixed in the patch, and it wasn't, so they're now saying it's going to be fixed in the next patch. Um, oh, there's probably a whole bunch of other stuff. I'm sure you're well aware of all the stuff. Hunt, not enough time, way too expensive, so not bothering. Yep, exactly. So those of us who don't have admin commands to be able to spawn the stuff in, yeah, it's. I consider it to be a complete waste of time. It's good fun to go and do the do the the three champions go and go and have a have a crack at it, um, but uh, yeah, I'm not I'm definitely wouldn't be doing them sixty times legitimately on a on a normal server just to get to get that items. And I think the thing the thing that annoys me most is the Lemurian brazer, because it's the only Lemurian item that we have available to us, and. Sometime in the future, presumably, we'll get an, a Lemurian build set of some sort. But if you haven't got that brazer to add to your set, then you've you've lost that opportunity. So it doesn't really match with anything else we have at the moment. So yeah, I don't I don't care. I, I'm confused. Anyway, right. So the other thing I have a problem with that I, I was mentioning mentioning that's affecting us today. I was wanting to head over. Now, where is it? I think it's here. I think this is the Lay Shrine of the Goblinoid, where there's a guaranteed a cursed berserker, the Sipta equivalent of a, a Sumerian berserker. But there seems to be, I don't know if it's a general issue, but I have a problem with Sumerians at the moment. So I was playing on my own server, 
on Friday night and I was up in the Mounds of the Dead with a, Bazer a Sumerian Berserker that I had and we got absolutely murdered. <laughs> In, uh, well, I didn't get murdered, I managed to run away, but um, the Sumerians at the Mounds of the Dead were taking vastly reduced um, damage. So I, I ended up having, because I obviously complained about this to the, to the devs, I, I took some notes, um, took another berserker, and for example, fighting a normal rhino, uh, I was doing between 26 and 42 damage. Uh, but my Berserker was doing between 135 and 175 damage on a Rhino. Skeletons, I was doing 50 to 80. My Berserker was doing 250 to 400 f per hit. Uh, whites, up up in the north, I was doing 75 to 105 damage. Uh, the Berserker was doing 175 to 640 damage. But as soon as you go to the first um, Sumerian fighter that's just sitting outside one of the mounds of the dead, uh, I was doing 10 to 12 damage, but my berserker was down to 50 to 60 damage. Um, and then when the pack came out, they stun locked him and he couldn't do any damage and killed him. So there seems to be a problem with the Sumerians at the mounds of the dead taking vastly reduced damage. Oh, it's turning it's turning night time. May as well head down the hill and take on one of our last hyenas before the cancelling of the thing tomorrow. Um so yeah, it was not not great and oh, here we go into daylight. So I did a test on Sipta and went over to one of the lay shrines that have got the Sumerians in it and the exact same thing is happening at the lay shrines. We're hardly able to do any damage. Here he comes. And stab. And down he goes. Yeah, so the Sumerian Berserker on Exiled Lands is easy to get because he's on his own. You can still do you can still do concussive damage to them, just not physical damage. So I'm still easy to... This problem with the mounds was on your server. It's on the server and also on my single player games as well. But I'm not sure whether it's just me it's happening to or whether there's other players it's happening to. But yeah, it's it's not good. And it, like when I, I tried it on this map and I'm getting the exact same issue. So I... Uh, my, my plan of going and trying to get that Berserker, because you have to fight your way in to get that Berserker, because he's inside the, the Lay Shrine on Sipta. But it's a guaranteed spawn, but yeah, it's a, it's a, it's not good. So, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to level this guy up quite a bit more. And I would like to be able to get to, get to 20 points. So I need another four levels myself to get to the 20 points in authority. Give him well trained, and uh, we'll see what's we'll see what's happening. So yeah, it's it's obviously it's it's a lot easier to do this if you've got Hosas mod on because it tells you what damage you're doing with each hit and your follower is doing. So not quite so easy on a on a console at all because obviously you can't have the mods. But yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a pain, so we're going to have to be a bit better prepared before we can go and get a Berserker, and then we can we can really start the game. But, before we do that, we need to get some consumables made, and to do that, I'm missing a... What do you call it? A alchemist bench. So, what do we need? Let me dump these fangs... Where do I keep my fangs? Oh, oh, this is another feature. So, we've got fangs in here. We can press Q or Quick Start, and my fangs just go straight across. That's really handy. Uh, can you corrupt your animal followers to make them stronger? Uh, no, you can't. Um, you you can get the the greater variant, you've got a rare chance of getting a greater variant of each animal, which is a lot stronger, and then it's a case of just feeding them the right food. 
that all followers have of this diet and they'll eat any of that food and the higher up the list the food goes the more heals per second it'll give them while they're while they're eating it but each thing gives them a particular bonus to their stats so the third thing in the list grilled steak is what you do to up their hp this thing here is the strength and i think that is agility cook fish is agility so you can pick what the what boost you give them and you can see their percent chance of growth per level every time the level they've got a 45 percent chance of strength this is all random by the way um, so you can feed them the food that gives them the boost you want. There's the 14% boost to vitality because they've got grilled steak. So that's, that's the way. But yeah, pets are not that strong at all. And in fact, they've been... So these dogs, these special dogs that we got last week, they used to be very strong. They've got decent HP. I and mean, you can see at level 0, they start out with 1,707 HP. But they were doing so little damage last week that it was, was really not worth using them at all. I could do much more damage than they can. Where it used to be, they would they would murder everything. Uh, let's see, some new people appeared. Faith Militant, good evening. Uh, Mutant, good evening to you. I spoke to you earlier on. Um, Chuvin, good evening to you. Good to see you. Uh, right, okay, so we want to make a alchemist bench, so that's under crafting stations, we've got improved alchemist bench, which is 50 brick, 50 shape wood, and 50 iron reinforcements. So, 50 brick. Take. Uh, 50 shape wood. Take and 50 iron reinforcements. Take. Right, now there should be space to put it over here. I think we've got a, we've got an alchemist who's sitting over here at the moment. Let's grab you at the moment. Super heavy. Oh, holy crab's here as well. Good evening, holy crab. Or good morning to you, should I say, holy crab. Over there in New Zealand. Sorry I missed you. Sorry. PG Ben. Good evening to you too. Miss just being able to hit enter to complete that precise split. Hey, I'm I'm so glad the precise split is back. I'm I'm quite willing. I mean even if you hit enter it does split it and then you just have to grab the split it across. How about they create a werewolf or werehyena purge? That way you can collect a lot of fangs fairly. Yeah, but unfortunately, they've, because they've changed the way the purge is, it's all humans. So yeah, not the not the greatest thing. Uh, right, what was I wanting to do? I was wanting to make some proper healing potions. Don't even know if I've unlocked them yet, have I? Uh, survival. No, I haven't. Concentrated aloe extract. So what do I need for that? I need aloe leaves and alchemical base. Aloe leaves. Uh, alchemical base. Make eight of them? Am I... I'm a short of leaves. I must be. Yep. But let's go and grab some more aloe. Some down here. Um, is it the wear bear you get as a pet? So you can purchase a wear hyena as a follower from the. Uh, where's the? It's over here somewhere. It is from the vendor. Or 250 fangs each. Uh, or if you do the whole quest thing, you can get the wear bear as a pet. So we're not sure what's going to happen with that yet. Especially if you've got the. Because the horns need. Like the lure needs 24 hours, actual real 24 hours to, to turn into the. 
the right lure and once you've got the killed it the horn takes 24 hours to become correct as well so we're not sure what's going to happen tomorrow if you've still got a, a thing in your a horn in your inventory that's counting down the 24 hours no idea what's going to happen to that when the event stops tomorrow Um, the Thorforge is doing normal damage to Sumerians. Final hit of a mace combo was 199 with only a 15 in strength, but using a Nortis. Okay, okay. So it's it's not a a global thing. So it's just it's just me. Interesting. What one-handed sword am I using? I'm using a Relic Hunter short sword at the moment. Spawn your lures now. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Uh, forgetting the normal coop port that stacks too. Of course, my character isn't level 60 on my, my own server yet. Uh, but it's, it's, it's just weird that, like, my Berserker uh, and... The build and weapons I've got, I mean, I, I can do 105 damage against a white, but I can only do 12 damage against a Sumerian Fighter 1. So it's like, it's a bit, it's a bit weird that the, it's like the armor that they've got is like much, much better than they had before, which is all a bit concerning. But I've reported it to the devs, so we'll see, we'll see what they say. Right, do I need anything else? I'll just drop that in there. We'll chuck that away. I'll keep the bees and we'll go we'll go leveling. Where do the bees go? Not in there. There they are. Q. And we'll chuck that in there and get you to craft up some more. Right, oh we'll need food. We'll need food. How much food have you got? Okay, let's go. Ross Higgins is in the house. Good evening, Ross. How are you? Alright, we'll head along here, then we'll head along the south coast and do some sort of leveling stuff there. Uh, Thor has just sla slaughtered the whole mounds. No problems doing normal damage on my server. Okay, well, that's good to know that it's not a global issue. Take you out. Another one over in this bushes here. Back to the grind tomorrow, Z scale grind that is, okay. Yeah, the holiday is over. Back to work tomorrow. My horse. You stars, hello, good evening to you. Oh, Bulwark's here. I never noticed Bulwark here before. But now I look up, I see he's posted lots of messages. Good evening, Bulwark. Thank you for coming to the stream. Good to see you. Oh, no, take a weapon out first. There we go. And, oh, I missed. Get some arrows. There's an arrow there. Run, grab it. There we go. And a couple of arrows here. None in there, one in there. Will work the invisible man, yeah. No, it's just that I'm, I'm not keeping up with chat. What's that in there? Bone claws, okay. 
Uh, there's not usually much of exciting in here. I don't want to grab too much because we're going to be away for a wee while. Kathy needs to spend more time on her new PC. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, you've not got your new PC not that long ago. You play with mouse and keyboard, Kathy, or do you use a controller on the PC as well? Willie Lum from Hawaii. New subscriber, just wanted to say thank you for the beginner's Oh, well, thank you very much and welcome to the stream. Greetings from Scotland. You've watched and re-watched all of them. Oh, wow. Mouse and keyboard, well done, Kathy Ann. By far the best way to play. I do understand the people who have been playing console for so long, it's so difficult to swap over. And in certain games, controllers are much better. The, the Star Wars Jedi Survivor game, it was much easier to play on controller than it was on mouse and keyboard. The, the keys are just in an awkward place. But yeah, games like this, definitely mouse and keyboard is the way to go. Because I can go three, four, three, five, and no wheel to be brought up in between while somebody's battering at you with a with a, an axe at the time. 7,000 XP for them. Another one across there somewhere. The radial wheel of doom, yeah. Play it with a steering wheel. <laughs> that would be interesting. Uh, is it the mal... Whoa, what's that? That's the horse's mouth. Hmm, I thought there was another one of those links over here. Clearly not. Is it up here the gorillas are? We'll go and do some gorilla killing. For all you US people, remember tomorrow is tax day. I was lazy and waited until today to finally do them. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, seeing inside a skull, it happens a lot in Ark. You end up seeing inside, especially as for some reason you're Argentavis. You f prefer the radio wheel more, m more immersive. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just, just the time it takes to be able to pull up, especially when you're doing it's, um, like live games like this where you're getting attacked. And you have to pull up, pull up your sword, and then pull up your your shield. That's two two trips round the radial wheel. Ah, let's forget about that. Let's head on. We'll come across plenty of things as we move more into the centre of the map. We'll come across plenty of things that'll give us XP. Ooh, look! A location with lots and lots of. Brimstone. I've never noticed this place before. Interesting. Anyone seen the first season? I have watched the first four episodes of Fallout and it's absolutely fantastic. Really enjoying it. And speaking of Fallout, I've got a bit of disappointment this weekend as well, because there is a a mod for Fallout called Fallout London that's been in development for many years now, and I've been watching it for four years, waiting for it to come out. It was due to come out earlier this year, but then Bethesda announced the offence over there. The release date of Starfield, so the delayed that 
the release of Fallout London. And, uh... And, uh... Back to, to April, so this month. And so it didn't clash with Starfield. I was like, okay, we'll have to wait a bit longer, but that's okay. Um, but then, last... End of last week, Bethesda announced that they were doing the next-gen update to Fallout 4 on all platforms and updating it all. Um, and that releases two days after the release date of Fallout London. Which means that Fallout London will be out for two days and then it'll break because the new version of the game comes out. Um, so it means that Fallout London has had to be delayed even further. And they don't know, they've got no idea when that will be, because you need to wait until the the, the next-gen update comes out to see what breaks before they play it, before they fix it even. So hopefully we'll get that at some point soon. Uh, so yes, you can press, so I could press X and put them both away and bring them back out again, but if I want to change weapons, is that a free DLC? I believe it is a free DLC, yes. It's all made by, it's fan made, um, they've been working, volunteers have been working on it for many years, of course, um, based in, based in London. So I've, I've been waiting for this for a long time and it was supposed to be coming out, I think on the 23rd of April, uh, and then Bethesda are putting out the next gen update on the 25th of April, so we're going to have to wait a bit longer. How was my curry on Friday? It was really nice, thank you. Bought and played Fallout in 2020 and GTA 5 in 2021. But my my first Fallout was Fallout 4. I'd, I hadn't played any of the previous Fallout games and then played Fallout 4, I think, three times all the way through. Really enjoyed it. And then went back and played Fallout 3. Never really got into New Vegas. Didn't play that for very long. But yeah. Definitely looking forward to... And especially with the new Fallout series, it it really got the nostalgia going and like practically wanted me to get Fallout 4 out and start playing that again. Just because just it's so good. I can hear battle music. What's coming at me? How far have you got to get to level 10? Uh, oh me, you're only like halfway there. Right, well, let's go and find something. Fallout Tactics was your first a long, long time ago. Okay, so I've not played that one either. Go on the horse, make it a bit quicker. Remember going to Best Buy to grab the first Fallout in 97 or so. Best Buy always had their new releases on sale in the first week. Didn't play one or two. No, well, I, I, I have one or two. I managed to get them in some Steam sale or something like that. But yeah, when I uh, looked at Fallout 1, I thought, yeah, it, its time has probably passed. Fallout 4 is what you still play when you need a break from Conan. Oh, interesting, Thor. Kevin loved New Vegas. It was an awesome time in Nevada seeing places from the game. Cool. Yeah, I guess that's one one of the reasons why I've been so interested in Fallout London, because um, I, I will know a lot of the landmarks that are in the game. Where's all the crocs and stuff? Never, what, what are they? Crested La Lacerta? Lacerta? Or something like that? Can't remember what they're called. Tried one of the Fallout games but couldn't get into it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm sure they're, they're not for everybody. Uh, 
Why are you like walking like super slow? There we go. <sighs> the gods, good evening. How are you? Oh, holy crab needs to go to work now. Oh, sad times. Thanks for popping by, holy crab. It's good to see you again. All that four is not compatible with the windows you have. What what windows do you have, Grisnak? Oh, and Teddy Trent's arrived as well. Good evening. Tony Kurtz, good evening. Double glazed. <laughs> hey! Boom, boom. In fact, I think the Lacerta boss is just around that corner there. Uh, we have a lot of games that just re recently only played Fallout 4, Conan and Diablo 2. Oh, dive into the... Ah, there's the Lacerta boss. Now, what do you reckon? What do you reckon? Should we give them a go? Let's give it a go. Let me get a drink first. Oh no, it's not a drink I need, it's food. Right, let me put my daggers on me. Do it! Okay, let's do it. Pull him out a bit. Oh, miss. Alright, let's... Oh, he's been knocked into the ground already. Let's see if we can get him over here. Come on, come on. Oh, there he is. Okay. Right. Let's try that again. Ouch. Alright, what's he got? 5,600 HP. Uh, our fighter seems to be doing okay. Oh, where did you come from? Oh, spinny tail. Get in and take him out. Yeah, there we go. All the stacks of bleed went off though. One percent. The fighter's only at ninety-one, so yeah, not pr not a problem. Whoop. There we go. He's down. Right, hardened steel mace. Oh, tier complete. Battle pass tier. Uh, no, I didn't pork up my friend. That, that's a point. Where do you get the food recipes from? On Sipta. 
are they lying about like like other recipes on exile lands or do you have to get them off of bosses or something when a hardened steel mace 37 damage 51 damage but lots of armor pen i'll take it with me just in case right get a key most come from vaults or surges oh Drops, aren't they? The drops off of people in surges and vaults. Always pork your thralls, yeah. Yeah, I suppose I could have done the pork... Pork rinds, the, the ones you cook in the basic campfire, but I don't have the salted pork recipe. I don't want that, and I don't want that. But I've got my first skeleton key. Woohoo! Okay. Water and steel has never been to the isle. Oh, really? Yeah, I, I don't know h hardly anything about the Isle of Sipta compared to Exile Lands. John Bennett, good evening. Only been playing Conan for about three weeks, so binging your beginner's guy 23-24 series. It's been a real boost to me getting into the game. Oh, well... Thank you, John. Welcome to the stream, and, and I hope you enjoy the game. As much as Funcom are trying to break it at the moment, it's this base game is still it's still good fun. Pretty sure I got it as a mob drop, but that was a long time. So just any mob then would have but also, what is there ten? Is there nine or ten recipe pages to get? Pain. Why, why did they not just make it the same as the Exad lands? You can go to certain locations. Porking your friends is frowned upon in some places. Indeed. Um, oh, we'll go and we'll go and take on the skel the pirate skeleton people y things that are up here. Maelstrom mobs get a little scary towards the end of the storm. My two thralls and I barely keep up, up with the spawns. Welcome to the family. Yes, indeed. Oh, snakes. Oh, brazes. Oh, scorpion took him out. He went over here. Uh, did you get a level at all. Not yet. It's getting close though. It's getting close. You tried to park your friends but nothing happened. Not sure if it's a server setting or that I have war party. Uh, I think they still work on war party be fair, I haven't used War Party for quite some time. The, the beam of the event on Sipta. Yeah, he's almost level 10, Angelo, so he's, yeah, it's the longest surviving follower we've had. Well, I, I suppose the other guy we've got back at base that we don't use at the moment. What are these guys? 400 and... Oh. Undead pirate. Down he goes. Oh, I, I beat mine before you beat yours. Oh, what weapon have you got? Perfected steel mace, 34 damage. Hardened steel mace, 37 damage with more armor. Oh, slightly. I don't have the armor pen mod on it. Here, there's a slight upgrade to you. Gold bars. Compost, witchfire powder. I never noticed how much XP they gave me. Right, let's watch this one. Haven of the Cursed. I like how they've got their little pirate gear on. 9,253 XP each. That's okay. 
Uh, coins. Mm, not interested in anything else. Or that. Hello? Any more? Any more? Any more? Salted pork recipe can be found from ads during the surge of south summoning. Okay, we're a while away from surges yet. Down you go. Nah, nah. Two more here. Whoop. Boom, 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 boom. Down you go. These are good for XP, that's for sure. Pick up the mushrooms as they only spawn on the other side of the map near the Black Hand Pirates. Uh, you have to press on both potion and pork in their inventory should they show up. Yes. I tend to find that the pork rinds, they eat them automatically as soon as you drop them in. Where's that noise coming from? People up, up, up above? But yeah, the salted pork and the potions, you actually have to... Ah, here we go. You have to manually use them in their inventory. goes. Oh, what are things? Oh, night time. Ar, 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 ar. Oh, what? Missed it. There he goes. Uh, must be a glitch. Private server and my son and I are new to everything. Oh, what did I, what did I just pick up there? Don't want stone consolidant. Uh, probably don't want light padding. Unless it's perfected. I keep hearing groaning noises of people, but I can't see them. Saw a video of Max leveling your thrall with that base you went to. Ang, is that the the big the big uh, what's it called? Almaria raid thing. I've seen the I've seen the trick you can park your thrall outside it, go and take on the whole last base, last boss thing, and it'll max level your thrall. All the way up to twenty. Uh, nope. Right, let's head up the decks. Nobody here. Angus friend really getting XP. Yep, he is. Uh, he's almost at level ten now. It just takes it takes a long time to level them up. Oh, hello. There we go. He's level ten. What did you get? He go oh, excellent. He got Relentless Perk, which is plus 5 to Vitality. So he's given him a, a boost to his health. He's up to 1,892 health now. Excellent. Um, you can max a Thrall at Kurax Dungeon as well. Yeah, that's been on the go for, well, since Kurax Dungeon came out. There's a lot to learn in this game, even when you have over 4,000 hours. It sure is. Well, although I know... Oh, what's that? Medium paddings and ebony silk. Yeah, nah. 
Although I know quite a lot about the Exiled Lands, I know very little about Isle of Sipta. And, of course, now that they change the game every three months, you have new stuff to learn every three months. Uh, take the Silver Dust. Another guy over there. Uh, I'll take the arrows. Ooh, oh. Lotus powder. What's with this one witch fire torch? Oh, here's a captain. Ooh, can we get his hat? Oh. That was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Uh, we'll take that, that, and that. Solo, uh, Bjorn Gun Gundarsson, good evening to you. This is Solo. It's much easier to make videos so, uh, on a solo than playing on an online server. You might want to go and do something or try something only to find somebody has just been there on the server and there's no boss to fight or whatever. Uh, okay, so you can't learn anything from that torch. Horse has got to do some tightrope walking. Guy up here. Get me that water orbs. Loads of these guys on there. Excellent for XP. Where's my battle pass getting on? 317. Alchemical base. Right, I think that's it cleared. Chest. Uh, arrows, water orbs, a binding. Arrows carpet, a rare gemstone, treasure. Yeah, not fussed about treasure. Okay, I think that's that camp clear. Been in there. I've been in there. Let's head on to the next boss. Trip FTW, good evening, good to see you. Yeah, the I see you're talking about the UI. They said they were going to make some changes to the UI, but for the life of me, I can't work out what that changes were. Other than, I think this list is now bigger. Um, and they did some... I, I saw some of the items, this little description thing was too big to fit in the box, and you couldn't read it all, and I think they're tweaking that. But, like, these icons, the contrast on them and the size of them all look to be much the same as they were before. So, yeah, I, I don't see what, they, what they've changed. Uh, and I think we spoke last week about this massive amount of space here. And I thought, I wonder what happens if you change your resolution. And 
yesterday I did a whole bunch of tests bringing the resolution down and it's not until you get down to like uh, 1024 by 768 that these boxes actually like close over. So even when you bring the resolution down a little bit, you still got these massive bits of space here that they could just make this boxes wider, have more rows, make the icons bigger, and p potentially change the colours of them just to give them a bit better contrast. The torch now does work on horseback. Uh, let me see if I got a torch. So there we go. We can now torch on horseback. However, one thing it isn't fixed. Um, if I just get rid of this first. Right, put my weapon away. So if I hit backspace, I can RP walk. There we go. We're walking away. And then if I bring out my torch, it automatically starts running. Backspace, RP walk in. Take out my weapon and I start running. But yeah, put the torch, my weapon away again. There we go. And if you've got the weapon out, you can't walk at all. So, have I got a torch, Anchor 2024? Yeah. I've got a torch, but not the torch. Uh, right. Carry on. Yeah, I just, I, I don't see the point of having that massive big sp bits of space when you could make the icons larger or have more rows. And if you have that, if you have this window and this window wider, that just means that you, these icons can be bigger to spread out to fill that, that space a bit. So yeah, all a bit, all a bit weird. The UI is one of the things they could spend some time on with a tactical pause. Yeah. You know, why they decided to change the UI? I don't know. Uh, where? Oh, it's, it's over here that the other boss is, isn't it? Uh, speaking of torches, we start dragon slaying next week, right, boss? <laughs> well, if I was able to get a berserker, I would be more likely to do that. that. That's what I was hoping to do today. I was thought if I could get him to level ten, we could go and get a berserker. But with the reduced damage that those guys were going to get, we're going to get slaughtered inside that lay shrine. Just like my berserker got slaughtered on my my own server on Friday. Typical Funko needs something to mess with except fixing the main game. Yes, indeed. What about if you make the resolution from the graphic settings smaller? Does that not work? Would make it worse. Yeah, I and mean that, that would definitely make the boxes bigger. Right, here's the next boss. Take him down. Oh, tail swipe. Certainly it spins on a dime pretty fast. I can't remember whether he spanned that fast before.
Take him down. And let's see. Um, don't know. Thought they had subdued my inner child, and then my wife shows me the dog's new toy, and I lost it again. Uh oh. I don't know why they changed it, make my content creating harder and longer to do. Yeah, indeed, Game Labs. Yep. Right. Uh, we'll take the hardened steel, the potent compost, and we'll get another skeleton key. Uh, power of friendship. <laughs> Graphic answers. I would do. I would say to behave, but you are well done. Well done. Yep. He's he's restraining himself. Personally, I find that the new content every three months is a bit much to keep up with when you don't know the game as thoroughly as some of your veterans. I, I can get that. I can get that. Don't know what things are new, what things aren't. Get the berserker in the cursed citadel. You'll have to solo him, but you can get him alone and avoid all the mobs on the way to him or her. Okay, that's somewhere I've never been before. I'll have to, I'll have to check that out. Uh, does this look more like a Komodo dragon than a crocodile to anyone else? Yeah, so these these are accursed lazarkas. Like it says giant crocodile or something like that on on Hosaf's mod, but that that's more because um, it uses the same attacks as a cro giant crocodile. But these things are called um, lacertas, la lacursas, something something along that lines. And this is just the the boss one. There are there are other ones that are much smaller than this. It's near the tower in the middle. Oh, okay. I I was assuming it'd be one of these places down here. Oh, in in here. Lacerta. Yeah. Thank you, Kathy Ann. Doesn't look like any, I, to be honest, a weird salamander. Yeah, I suppose it's... I guess that's the thing with Sipta, is there's lots of weird creatures on here that are not real animals. Whereas most of the animals on Exiled Lands are actual real animals. It's just that they get some of them wrong. Console, you only learn the names of the enemies when they kill you. Yeah, well, on... On normal, without without the the Hosaf's mod, you you don't know what the creatures are called either. You normally find out once you've cut their head off and got their head. But one of the good things about the Hosaf's mod is that it does show you the the name of the creature you're fighting, like that. So this is a black bear. Narta is a constellation, not an animal. Oh, okay. How much are you getting off a rock nose? Ah, 5,000 XP. You can enable names, can't you, in the settings. So you can on... It'll give you the names of... Um, people. There is a settings gameplay show nameplates that will give you people, but it doesn't give you the name of animals. For example, if I run up to this animal here, it doesn't show me what their what its name is until I kill it. Uh, right, where is the bear? Oh, I think we need to go further round. Nefer is in it is an animal, it's a reptile. Okay. Oh. 
be honest, I've never looked that up. Hello, bear. Hey, bear. Out. Boom, 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 boom. Here's the bear boss. Zerta is actually in the Merriam-Webster Dictionary, a genus, the type of family Lacertae of lizards, formerly including near all known lizards. Ah, okay, so it's more like the Latin name of lizards. Posted a screenshot about Lacerta in general chat and Discord. Oh, thank you, Kathy. I will check that out afterwards. Maria, hello. Good to see you. How are you? He just wants a hug, yeah. Oh, okay, let's take out the little ones first. And... Oh. And... There he goes. Oh, there's a bear cub. What are you fighting on? Right. Let's take you on. I can't remember whether this one has a skeleton key or not. Use my shield. Yes. Um, it's funny the nameplate controlled affected animals. You can run up and say to a bear and it says Dave or Bob. <laughs> Giant bear it's called. Down it goes. Alright, what have you got? More water filled flask, composite obsidian, insulated wood, and hardened steel. Let's see if you get a key. No, you don't. At least you didn't offer this one. Alright, I'm getting heavy now. Horse, come here. Don't poke the bear, yeah. Uh, I don't want to change everything to the heavy setting because it'll screw everything up, but let's just put things that look kind of heavy across. Weight is going down. That'll do. Right. Should we do the first... Uh, what are they called? Vaults? What is the first vault, actually? Uh, vault, vault, vault raider. The Bastion of the Bat Demon. So I think that, I think that's the one that's right outside my house, isn't it? Is it not that one there? Should be able to do that with, with this guy. Yeah, yeah. What do you think? Yep, yeah, that is it. Okay, cool. Again, I've never done a vault on Sipta before without having a top level a th friend with me. The Bat Demon Vault is N8 map. Okay, so yeah, that that one there. The one right beside my base. Let's go and drop everything else off at the base. Empty our inventory and repair our stuff. Um, whoop. 
Lizard men isn't a hard vault either. You can do it, you believe in me, I thank game labs. Yeah, I'm gonna need a drink as well. Got any oh I do. Two oh two two away from getting well trained. Kathy Ann says, did a vault and sipta with me and a low level friend. He never said whether you survived. Ooh. Whole bunch of crocs around here. Okay, how's my water skins? That one's almost empty. Sounds more like the vault did you. Oh well, that's true. Uh, use that. Use that. All right. We'll we'll do the bat one first, just so we can do the the journey step. Uh, do them in order. Don't forget to change your journey. I just did. Thank you very much. Thank you for the reminder. Uh, I wonder whether the Lacerta boss has respawned over here and we can get another key. Do you need more keys? I don't know. I don't know how many chests are in there. Because that, that was the thing that... Uh, you used to get the keys from the bosses outside, but there was never any chests outside on Sipta. And you had to do a... Uh, you had to do a... Uh, a vault, and there was locked chests inside the vault. You had to get your keys outside the world and take them into the vaults to get the, the legendaries. Which, of course, is what now Exad Lands is doing as well. Thor's heading off. Got some housework to do. Get back to the grindstone. Okay, thanks, Thor. Good to good to see you here tonight. And have a great week. Catch you next time. Uh, Thomas, are you ever going to do a new beginner's series for Sipta? Um, my problem with doing a beginner's guide for Sipta is I don't know enough about Sipta. Because I don't play it that much. Oh, it is here. It's respawned. We can get another key. So I, I did do a, a series oh, about a year ago. That um, we went through and started working our way through through Sipta. Uh, and that ended up getting stopped. I, I can't remember what... Like a, a new... A new chapter or a new age came out or something like that, and we, we ended up doing a new series on that. Oh, he's in the ground again. Come on. There he is. Weirdly coming running out of the water. It looks like that lump there is not a great place to fight him, so pulling him out onto the beach is a better place. But you never know, I'll maybe learn enough of doing this live stuff on Sipta that we'll be able to actually get a, a Sipta Beginner's Guide one day. Didn't you stop a Sipta CD? Oh, well, yeah, so... That was part of the issue, was that... I, I don't think that's why I stopped it. I think the it must have been the start of Age of War, so I wanted to start a new Age of War Beginner's Guide series. Um, and the beginning of Age of War had that issue that there was no stability on Namidian. Uh, I, that's where my base was, on top of there, across that bridge, and I had a huge base up there that was all Namidian, and there was an issue that 
There was no stability, so anything you built on the Midian structures... as he went into the ground again? He's in the ground again. Ow. Roll. Roll. Oh, I'm up on top of you. Ooh, that, that did some damage. Oh, he's back up again. Yeah, so if the stability was... No stability on your foundations. All your benches lot were gone. Uh, your your Any thralls that were standing on them would be gone. So a lot of people lost a lot of stuff that time. <laughs> Don't mention the Namidian bugs as I would do. It still hurts too much. So yeah, I, I didn't log into that server for the whole time until we heard that they'd patched it and fixed it. That's an annoying bug. Annoying glitch you get all day long. Is that the, the guy going into the ground? Lance cores, no. Glass flasks, yes, yes. Uh, Alright, let's get another key. There we go. Three keys. But, yeah, never say never. We might have another Sipta series one day. Prefer the XR lands because I too have played enough on Sipta and just can't seem to get the feel for it. Yeah, yeah, I I definitely prefer XR lands. Hundreds of hours of farming all gone. Poor Audu. Yeah, that must that must have been terrible. It's it's not just the building itself. I mean the my biggest issue is you're losing your workbenches and everything in them. All your tier 4 crafters, all the materials that are in your chests and in your benches. Like, you lost so much stuff. How do you get that Tower of the Elephant achievement? I've tried to stand on so many enemies. Uh, that's one I don't have either. I, I have seen people do it. Um, you get two people together on a server and you can do it together. I've heard of people doing that. Get overburned and jump on someone's head, preferably a friend. There you go. There you go. I've I've seen chat on a server of people helping each other to get that achievement, but it's not one I've ever got myself. Problem is, Namidian is such a popular build set as well. Indeed, the the uh, Namidian is a is an awesome build set. Uh, let me see. Quicker to go this way, the way we came. Quickly ride back home, get repaired, and then we'll go and do that vault. Hopefully it won't take us too long. Yeah, so another thing that's changed is people in the volcano that were passive before are now aggressive. Yes, I saw you saw you go over that on f your stream on Friday. Also, it's not a place I tend to go very often, but... the river. That's one of the vaults over there of the wolf guys. Achievement and just looked at it. Only 3.8% of players have it. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. 
What did I miss? I just got here, ready to simp for you. <laughs> Hi, Stephen, how are you? Yeah, we've just been levelling up our... our friend, and now we're going to take on our first vault. Just heading back to dump all this stuff at the base and repair repair our stuff, and then we're going to head into the first vault. Nearly there. We've got... What have we got? Just over half an hour left, so... Hopefully we should be okay. following. Just dump all the stuff in here. Tell you what we can do is we can get get a piece of pork cooking. I, I just I just moved everything in there, didn't I? What a muppet! Oh well, guess it makes it a little bit quicker. Um, what do I need to take with me? Take that, take that, take that. Uh, water skins, cool, a bow, and do, 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 do. our keys. I think that should be it. All the rest of the stuff we can deal with another time. Right, repair our weapons. Repair that. Repair that. The shield's okay. We've got healing. We've got food. Mm, can we make iron daggers? Uh, steel daggers, sorry. Where are they? We've got perfected steel poniards. Let's make them instead. Slightly better damage. Uh, can we make a damage kit for it as well? How are you for food? Uh, actually doing pretty good. I might take a stack of gruel with them. Oh, no, I won't because I don't have any. In case he needs slightly better healing. Did it make them? There they are. There we go. Right, and then... Oh, I tell you what, we could make some grey lotus potion for him as well. What do we need to make grey lotus potion? Other than grey lotus powder. Uh, what's that? Grey Lotus Powder, Alchemical Base, and a Water-Filled Gas Flask. Okay, that's easy enough to do. Uh, take that. Take that. And take that. Uh, a Damage Kit for the Thrall Weapon, that's a good shout. Good shout indeed. Right, uh, grey. Make them all. We only need one. Right, and then he's pork. Here. Have that. And have that. And then use that. Uh -huh. 
He's actually an agility guy, but we haven't really got any good agility weapons yet, so we're just boosting his strength a bit. So we've got 25% increased strength from the food, and then another 15% from the potion. Okay. That'll do. Hey, bear. Okay, because all the herbivores keep taking all the feral flesh and all the carnivores keep taking all the berries. I was just wondering what was going on there. Ah, for animals, yeah. So, um, yeah, the the whole feeding pen thing is, look, it's, it's a non-thing now. It used to be you had to feed your animals all the time just to keep them alive, but you only give them food now for healing and, and buffs while fighting. So the whole thrall pot for thralls and the whatever the animal one is called is is just really not needed anymore. I only use that thrall pot because it works as like a basic refrigerator and it extends the life of the the meat. Mm, right, let's get off and climb up here. Uh, that list of buffs doesn't seem to show up on it, so it, it shows up on my server, as far as I'm aware. Oh, I forgot the damage kit for the weapon. Ah oh, well, never mind. Uh, thanks for the reminder, but yeah, a bit, a bit late. Do you have planter boxes yet? No, I don't, no. Not yet. The feed box, that's what it's called, yes. Right, there's the bats. And the silver nodes and stuff all the cats around about. Oh, there's two of them there. I got two thousand. Mm -hmm. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, did you see the fall damage he took down there? That fall damage is a thing. Look at that, he's down to 37%. To be honest, he should have probably died by falling off of there. Uh oh. They've followed us down. Interesting. Interesting. That's bad. That is bad. I can hear the wings flapping. Attacking the horse. Come over here, come over here, come over here. I don't want you to get knocked off again. Come over this way. Come on. There we go. That's better. Come on. Right. Now fight him. You can kill enemy thralls by knocking them off cliffs as well. Okay, well, that's good to know. That's the first time I've experienced that. Going up to the children of Jill is going to be quite interesting. Where's the... Where's the place? Look straight ahead of me. Oh, there it is over there. The giant tower with the glowing blue door. Not sure whether to call that courage or insanity. <laughs> That's well, yep. Yeah. So we've got black ice here as well. You can start to hear the heartbeat of the... How do I get up there? Oh, 
Brimstone, more black ice. Oh, here we go. Maybe not. Use the shield to block the, the bat's wing swipe. Yep. Okay, his health's going up nicely. Eating all and sundry off a of cliff's good old days, yeah. Old Greystone Road. Yep, here we are. Find the Bastion of the Bats. Now we have to explore the Bastion of the Bats. World's problem of the world today is not enough yeeting. <laughs> okay, Major Dan. <laughs> uh, right. I'll, I just love this style, the style, the storm glass style of these buildings with the lighting. They're just really well done. Right, um, there is a, oh, there's the, there's the, on the other side. The devolved bat insignia, so. It's been a while since I've done these. I believe there's an insignia, there's a statue, and there's a, a thing on the floor, depending on the, the vault. So you've got like three things to collect, and then you've got the, the goodies at the, the end room, if I remember correctly. So we've got the insignia, we're looking for the statue and the thing on the ground. Okay, so these are the same HP as the guys outside. Bat claw on the floor, yeah. Obviously a bat claw because we're in we've got bats. Trophy. Is that is that what's on the floor, the trophy? Insignia gives you a buff as long as you don't die. Uh, that'll be the... Oh, what's that called? Oh, maybe don't have one yet. Sigil. That's it. That's it. Yeah, so that's from the chest at the at the end of the... The treasure room at the end of the dungeon. Now, that'll stay on you until you die. Ooh -ho. As the snake strikes, so do I. His, his, his health's fine. His, his meat healing. Ooh, mine, mine isn't so good, though. His meat healing is enough. Why are you not dying? Is enough for him for these guys. Might need to swap him to the the gruel uh, before we before we get to the last boss. Just to give him extra healing. All jam is just no joke. Yeah, considering the time it takes to level him up and hope for a vitality perk. Indeed. Oh, you went flying across the wall. How much XP are we getting for these guys as well? Oh, only 6,000. Uh, so all three stairs are the same. I uh, don't see any statues. I don't understand why all these little bats are pinned to the wall in this bat demon thing. Ah, uh, uh, there's the... There it is. Oh, you run over there. Okay. Open the doors and let both the bat demons out. Oh, 
Not doing huge amount of damage to them. Uh, throw a few kills from level 10. I had over 4,000 health and died from the fall. But I honestly expected my guy to die from the fall. Because that was a long drop. Oh, I didn't take any wraps with me. That's a pain. Right, anything in here? Oh, there's the ladders. I remember the ladders now. It's a language thing. Then yeeting is slang for throwing. Yeah, so if you yeet yourself off, you're throwing yourself off of something. A chest. Uh, gold coins, grey lotus powder, witch fire powder. Okay. Uh, I can't see whether there's one over the other side. There we go. I just yeeted myself down the ladder. Another ladder here. Right. Oh, there's not a chest up here. Okay. Okay, nothing else in here. Onwards. Is that a statue? It is a statue, but that's a big statue. Alright. I don't want to pull too many at once. And we don't want to get knocked off the edge here. Gonna be a party pooper, but crack of Sparta's to Sparta's tomorrow, so I'm going to have to yeet myself off to the chat. Uh, take it steady, everyone. Okay, bye, I do. Thanks for popping by. Enjoy your sleep. Statue is in this room. Ah, okay. Oh, good job. There was a window there. Oh, another one coming up. <laughs> Horse appearing from nowhere. Can I get through? Uh, food. Seems to be stuck. Ah, it's dead. Uh, oh, I, sh I should be hacking these things up, shouldn't I, for the claws to make stuff with. Uh, evolved back claws. Or I'll dump the rest of that stuff for the out. Uh, are you in that underwater city inspired but no this is the bastion of the bat demon oh. all the guys came up past him and he didn't spawn you can put the claws in the floor press for icker oh okay but do you not need them to build the trophies and stuff like that the statues maybe only need one do you Yeet it if you don't need it. Indeed. Yeah, I'm I'm not of the collect everything type of player that there, there is a lot of out there. Oh, decaying Eldarium. That's the first bit of decaying Eldarium I've seen. I'm very much... If we need it, we'll take it. Otherwise, I ain't going to carry it. More guys in side rooms. Is 
stabby stab. You're a hoarder in the game, are you, Tony? As, as I see lots of people are like, oh, take that, take that, take that. I'm very much of it. If it's something that's rare and I've got a, I've a known use for it, I will take it. Otherwise, I won't just take, like, like this bat skin, for example. I can clearly use that for making leather with. But I don't want to at the moment. If I'm, when I'm ready to get a bunch of leather, I'll just go out collecting leather. Right. Nothing in that room. Another guy over here. Oh. There's chest there. Yeah, I mean, look at that. It's just awesome. Especially the purple flames. The lighting is just amazing. I love Stormglass. It is my favourite building material. It would be nice if we could get these these building pieces as well. Obviously, we've got the extra building pieces with a Citadel set. Some nice pieces in there. We'll figure out what is useful. Yeah, so that I guess that is a thing, that if you don't know what is useful... But it's like, uh, that'll just come with experience. Yeah, so we'll take the gold and silver. So definitely take alchemical base. Take the gold and silver. Perfected medium paddings. We're definitely taking that. They're heavy, so we're going to give it to the horse to carry. Oh, I didn't empty the horse before. Oops. Uh, star metal. Gold, purple lotus powder, grey lotus powder, raw ash, we'll take all them. Right, I don't think it matters which side you go down here. Oh, it's 48, so... We might have to run over a little bit just to get this finished. Uh, silver, grey lotus, I don't care about this. Uh, I don't know if I've got grey lotus seeds, we'll need that for, for sorcery. No, that's not the statue, the statues are a lot smaller than that. And then this is the other side, that's the way we want to go. There it is, there it is. Evolve the bat statue. That, I think that's all the things that we need to have now. We've got the insignia, we've got the statue, and we've got the the bat thing trophy off the floor. More Aldarium. We're only getting a little tiny bit though, but we'll get more off the last boss. Right, is this... This is not quite the last boss yet. Go through these doors. We're not far away from the last boss now, I don't think. Uh, horse, can you let him in? Oh, we've got three of them. Go for the horse. Oh, 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 oh. Heal. Why are you two going after me instead of my man? Yeah, go after him. I've gained a level. That'll be useful once we get this fight over and done with. Hey. 
He's getting thrown about a bit, but he seems to be doing okay. Oh, I just caught off the side of my eye that Sesame's in the house. Good evening, Sesame. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Right, let's get this dying down. Let's get that attribute applied. We've got one more level to go so we can get him up to 20. Uh, branches, really? There's a chest. Just a normal one, though. More star metal. Uh, I think we're okay with our gas glass flasks now. Yeah, radium gems, I'll take some of them. Thing in here. Maybe... There's one guy going around the corner there, but... That one's broken. Hey, let's see. Uh, how is everybody? How are you, Sesame? Ramadan is over now, of course. Celebrating Eid, or is that now finished too? Can be a legendary chest in this area. Okay. Uh, didn't see one. No. Don't die in your account. Yeah. Was in a bit of a, a hairy situation there, but we're all good now. Uh, okay. Oh, this is not the last boss bit either. Got another another bit to go. E is finished now. Okay. Sometimes is the key word. Yeah, indeed. be tempted by the lost dungeon expansion on the bazaar it is a bit of a, a bit of a strange one Nuri, thanks for the sub because obviously to have those dungeons they they need to kind of they make it look like it's underground but obviously you can't place them underground it kind of looked in the trailer that you could but you have to find a location that you can build down the way like down a cliff off the edge of a cliff or something like that but yeah, it's a, it's a strange set. Uh, obsidian, yeah. Another dude there. Another one comes around the corner. Hit by one while trying to attack the other one. Right, that one's down. Just one more to go. Oh, what? So I got 13 left. There we go. He's down. Right. That. I know there's a guy in here too. I'm very well, Sesame. Thank you. Been a busy old week, but the weekend is now almost finished and uh, ready for another week. Oh, more Eldarium. Grab that. 
Are you a legendary chest? No, you're not. But you do have 15 perfected medium parons in you. A hardened leather, purple lotus, witch fighter, supply materials, lots of nice stuff. Right. Put you in there. Uh, how much is that weighing? 130. Cross. Nothing. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, that'll do. Ah, here we go. Last boss time. Almost at 20k subs. Yeah, it's getting close now. Alright, we've only got one add. We'll see. Might have one more around the corner. There we go. I'll take your alchemical base. Right, how are you? Mm, right, so we're going to give you... Did I not take... I thought I took a stack of gruel with me. Oh, I did. There it is. Not quite a stack, but it's... Gives you slightly better healing. You're fully healed up. Let's see if there's any more. Beck the Tinkerbot, good evening! Shift is about to end. Right, let's see how we get... Oh, of course, these guys have got massive amounts of health. away from his spins. Ooh, that almost... Maybe I should do that and use the shield. He's got a bigger reach than the little ones. Oh, don't get stuck in the animation. He's doing really well. He's still at a hundred percent. Um, are you getting lost items inventory bug? I haven't. I haven't seen. I've heard a lot about the inventory and crafting, and people can't put armor on and stuff like that. But I've not experienced that myself. It is. It is a bit weird that people do seem to be getting different bugs. Kind of getting backed into the corner. Could you maybe move over here? There we go. Right, fight him there, fight him there. He's down at 35% and our guys are still at 99, so our healing is probably doing a good job. Yeah, get, come on Sesame, attack! Weirdly, I did find that when we, Chapter 4 first started, when you sent somebody to attack, so it tells you there that the Archer and, the, and Sesame are going to attack. The horse actually used to go to the area, which then quite often would block the fighter getting to the, the mob. And it was causing a lot of hassle, but it just seemed to stop by itself without any like listed patch or anything. And now that doesn't happen. Ah, he's down. Explore the Bastion of the Bat Demon is complete. Ah, I've got another tier. For the battle pass, right. You have 12 and Darium on you. We've got another devolved back claw. 
Ooh, it's an abysmal flesh as well. Nice. Black blood. Cool. Uh, right, so I still haven't seen a legendary chest around here. Are they in the... Are they in the final room? Let's go have a look. We're just going to run a lot, a few minutes late just to finish off this dungeon. Uh, no chest there, no chest there. Uh, these are normal chests. Aldarium, gold. Cool. This is a normal chest as well. Take that, take that, take that. And then this is the big chest. Plunder the Bastion of the Bat Demon. Expected to see guts. Guess it's not guaranteed. Oh, like a bag of guts. Yep, yeah, no, we didn't get that. Uh, drinking horn, war paint strength. Scroll witch doctor. Really? Can you get witch doctor on here? Here's the sigil. More Eldarium. Take that, that. Don't care about the rest of it. Uh, let me see that. Witch Doctor. Use. Knowledge. Uh, so it looks like you can't learn it. Yeah, I was excited about that as well, Sesame, because that's one of my favourite things that used to be in the game. But you can't... You can't use it. That's a shame. Right, I'll well, quickly... I'll oh, quickly hand off some heavy stuff to you. Uh, I'll chuck that away. Uh, what is heavy? Not really heavy. Okay, let, let's just do the sorting. Oh, bones. Hardened leather... Is food. Have your food back. There we go. I will quickly watch this. There we go, a little bit of lower, so pressing F a few people are saying, F, no, this doesn't work. So yeah, he just can't, he can't learn that on Sipta. Uh, around here, still not seeing any legendary chest, but here's the scrolls, that's the Bat Demon armour. And that's the Bat Demon weapons. But still no chests. Hmm, okay. And this is the way out. Mm. Uh, Bear was levelling your Dolincian Berserker and the Zerker glitches and just stood there with his weapon out and not attacking or moving. Couldn't get him to flee either, so rip Zerker. Ah, not good. Right, there we go. We're out of the dungeon. Or the vault, even. Is that just the door closing again? It's all blue. It's not blue anymore because it's locked out for a while, so we can't get back in. But yeah, there we go. That's another stream has come to an end. It's five past. We're, we're slightly over. But yeah, we've, we've done a bit of levelling. I see Sesame's 13. He's still 10. So he didn't get much in the way of levels. He's almost 11. But we'll, he'll get there. Uh, we might have to investigate the berserker that's on, on this tower here. See see how easy it'll be for me. But we'll, we'll worry about that another day. So, yep. Thank you everybody for joining us tonight. Thanks for, for all the the wonderful comments and stuff that going back and forth. It's always great to see. Uh, thanks for the subscriptions. Thanks for the donations. And... Uh, of a great what's left of your weekend and a great week and hopefully we'll see you back here next week where we'll we'll have some more fun okay thanks everybody good night now <laughs>